Hey y'all, how are you? It is uh, Thursday afternoon at 105. So I haven't been here, been busy. Finally got the new stove and, and microwave and got it in, got it installed. Stove part was easy. Some microwave part that was a little difficult, but we figured it out. Um, plus, I don't know if I told you, on top of banging my knee in the bed, then the dog tried to trip me. Swear to God. Anyhow, let me flip this around and uh, put my little stool all the way. I've been out here working. Show you my new stuff. And there we go. The microwave is just that, but it's got sensors and you push a button and, you know, because I have the air fryer over there. But the stove has two ovens, upper oven, lower oven. You could do different things in both of them, um, but in the top oven you can't um, air fry or do convection. In the bottom you can do both those. Top one's kind of like just a regular oven, but it steam cleans and it does all kinds of cool stuff. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's got one of those um, power boil burners here. Not only does it tell you the burner's on up there, it tells you right here there's a little spot that comes on that tells you it's hot. And then here's the first of I love unsealed burners in my oven. The broiler one on the top is unsealed too. My last oven of 20 years had it. It was okay, but you know what? I prefer so I can see. And I love these with the handles. See the handles on them? I, I don't know. I might be getting excited over old school stuff, guys, because like I say, I haven't had a new stove in 20 years. And then, here's the bottom one. The bottom one is huge. And it does all the same things, plus air fry, plus convection. So, I can't wait to start cooking. I'm going to pull these towels up. It's the only bad thing about having towels on your stove handle. Because you've got another one below. Um... Here's my towel. It says, Mr. Rogers did not adequately prepare me for the people in my neighborhood. So anyhow, yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you that because you see what I'm getting ready to do. Get ready to cook for my babies. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. it. It's been a lot of work because we took all that out. Then I put the kitchen back together because I, you know, took everything off the shelves and stuff. And then I put it back together and then I had to take it apart because the stove was here and the microwave was here so wait let me turn it back finally getting to the food cabinet too I'm working on getting those doors on the inside painted so the whole thing isn't white you know so it just matches my cabinets and stuff so that I've been doing a little too much I think but it's okay you know I'd rather be doing that than nothing so anyhow I wanted to come on and let y'all know what I'm doing where is my um uh, Winner from the drawing, you need to go back and watch that video and see who you are. Get a hold of me in Messenger on off of my, uh, it has it on my YouTube channel. Um, so anyhow, that's where we're at. I'm just kind of down too because they ended up canceling our eight days camping. Um, I don't even know why they took our money and took our booking because they got tore up. So now they need time to be put back together. So they said they'd let us know, you know. So that got canceled, so I'm kind of bummed out about that. I was looking forward to that. So we've been busy, still working on the pond. we got to go get the rocks to go around the outside of the pond, get some plants to put in, and I need to build the waterfall, but I can do that easy. And uh, then I don't know what the next project is. I'm getting my Christmas shopping almost done. I'm going to start some baking for Thanksgiving and wrap it tight and put it in the freezer, but... Uh, yeah, so for today, we'll get some food caught up ahead. I got another cat. Well, I didn't get another cat. He's my cat, uh, Bo. Um, he was one of the very first cats. And I let my daughter have him, where she normally takes very good care of her animals, but she said he was sick. He wasn't feeling good. So when we were down there yesterday, I said, and I could tell there was something seriously wrong. So I said, okay, call David, tell him I'm coming to pick him up.
I sent her a beautiful, healthy, beautiful cat, white cat. I'll show you one of his pictures sometime. I can't say he weighs three pounds. He's emaciated. Looks like he hasn't eaten. Filthy. Filthy! His ears, his nose, his eyes. His... So I've washed him up. I've brushed him off. He's eaten like three and four times a day. I'm heartbroken. I'm just... I never thought she'd let that happen. And this is why I don't want any of the animals that I get close to, to go to anybody, friends, foes, strangers, I don't care. It won't happen again. Poor little guy is just not feeling good. He'll come out and eat and let me love on him for a little bit, and then he goes back in and goes to sleep. But, you know, it's going to take me a little while to get him back on his feet and get him straightened out. I'm heart sick over it, but I'll get him fixed. He knows he's home. You know, she begged me almost a year ago. I think it was around last Christmas. You know, Mom, let me have Bo. He's such a beautiful cat. White Siamese, you know. Mom, Mom, I love him. He loves me. Let me have him. And she begged and begged and begged. So I said, all right. I said, but you know, you got to take care of him. It didn't happen. I don't know what's wrong with people. These animals... And go out here cannot take care of themselves you know if they're out in the wild wild okay but here let me flip this around show you he go he went in the cat tree he sleeps a lot right now there he is my poor little guy hey baby it's okay it's just mommy it's just mommy yeah reminds me of a baby uh oh god what are those mean little possum that's what he looks like to me he's so skinny He's so, I'm afraid to pick him up and touch him. Scared me to death when I washed his face. His face was filthy. I was afraid I was going to hurt him. He loved getting brushed. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to give him maybe about a week. And I'm going to put him in the bathtub. And if I have to get in there with him, I'll get in there with him. Get him a good scrubbing. And, but he needs to gain his strength. It looks to me, I'm only surmising, that uh, he got thrown outside during the storm and they took off and left him. But I don't think that's the beginning of it because he didn't get this way just within a couple weeks. I'm not stupid. He was not cared for at all. And I, I'm just so disappointed in my daughter because that's not like her with animals. She takes almost as good a care of her as I do mine. Uh, you know, I know I get a little over eccentric with them, but you know what? I took them in. It's my job to take care of them. So, yeah, I'm also been a little emotional over that shit, you know. But he knows he's home, and all the other cats, you know, they're not bothering him. They're, you know, there's been no problem. He don't mind the dogs because he, you know, was with the dogs. You know, it's going to take him a little while to reorient himself to being home. But, uh, we'll do it, you know. I, I kept telling her, Becca, if it gets to be too much, if there's any problems, blah, 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 he can always come home. And then when she told me, well, he's not feeling good, Mom. Not feeling good, he's about to knock on death's door is what he is. It's all right, I got it. I'll get him better. I'll put him a little bed in the kitchen if he wants to lay in there. You know, he can lay in the chairs, whatever. But he wants to be out here because I don't know how long he's been outside. He was never an outside cat, ever. Ever. You know, so I don't know how long he was outside. He keeps, you know, he'll come in the house for a little bit to eat or whatever. He knows the eating routine here. He didn't forget that. And, uh... He'll come out here and look around a little bit, and then he climbs back in the cat tree. And so, I, you know, I have to get him reacclimated to things around here because I don't throw no animals outside. I don't give a fuck, you know. Um, well, my Great Dane, when he got sick, he was 213 pounds a dog. 
and he got sick and uh, he got to the point where he just couldn't do a whole lot for himself and um, so I made him comfortable either out here not when it was cold and not when it was hot or in the garage where he could lay um, because he couldn't at that point he was he couldn't control I just brought him home from the vet and they told me it's nothing more they could do you know and I took his food to him and helped him feed his food to him and cleaned up after his accidents which <laughs> big dog big accidents and I did all that until the end you know you you don't discard animals you just so anyhow he's home he seems happy he rode on my lap all the way home was content heard so I think he's happy to be back home that's where he's going to stay so all right guys I'm going to get off of here and uh, get the chicken livers going I've got some but I want to get plenty more made up for him now that I have another cat and uh, then I'm going to get off this leg so, you all have a beautiful Thursday. Anything exciting happens or I got something to tell you, um, I'll come back and let you know. But, it, you know, it's been just busy work and me trying to hobble around and help hubby, you know. Um, actually, we just got back from the grocery. He went to the grocery with me. And uh, so I had quite a few things to get. And uh, so we did that and uh, walked around that store. It was, I'm done for the day. It's, I'm just done. So, uh, all right, I'm going to get off of here and uh, give this to hubby and let him upload it. I hope you all are doing something for you morning, noon, night. I don't care, in the middle of the night. Get up. You want to get up and watch TV and have a cup of coffee? Do it. Do it. Do something for you. Take care of you. Please take care of you. If you don't, it's rough, you know. Not rough for me because I take care of me. Hubby helps take care of me, but I take care of me first. So do something for you guys. Thanks for stopping. It's a good day. Woke up. It's a beautiful day. Woke up. I'm still here to talk. Um, take care of yourself. Thanks for stopping. Push my buttons. Um, share this out if you want. If not, it's okay too. Um, but I'd like to get as many... Everybody can be here. It doesn't matter to me. Young, old, middle aged, it doesn't matter. But I'd like to get some older people here to see. You know what? You could still do what you want to do, even with the, the double cataract surgery and jumping right into a new knee. I survived it, you know? And I was reading some of my um, hospital notes, because you can read all that online, you know, about my some of my surgeries and what the doctors notated. And, you know, because a lot of them didn't think I'd go, you know. She's all, well, guess what? I fold them all. I fold them all. So I'm done. No more. No more. And I haven't pushed to go uh, get the PET scan yet. I may get it done and get it over with. Um, we'll see. I'll call them tomorrow. I'm in no hurry. All right, y'all. I love you. Sorry I keep running off of that. Uh, um, take care of yourself this evening. Like I said, if anything good happens, I'll be back. If not, probably in the morning when I'm sitting there half asleep drinking my coffee. <laughs> what a life. All right, I love you. Thanks for stopping.